in Atlantic Beach, North Carolina, where we start talking about be safe. If you see water, turn around, don't drown. We are already seeing some flooding coming in because of the low-lying uh, areas as you head towards Moorhead City behind me. But right now, we are seeing the first of the water starting to surge in. And I talked to a resident a little while ago who told me that he is actually, because of the downgrade of the wind, going to ride it out because his biggest fear, believe it or not, isn't this water you're looking at. It's the flooding inland in Kansas in uh, New Bern, in Jacksonville, and he fears that should he go inside, he knows the worst part of this storm, as Janice was talking about, is the flooding coming from the extended uh, excessive rainfall as well as the continued surge. And he doesn't want to get trapped inland and not able to get back here now. So really quite amazing conditions that are starting to deteriorate as we get the first parts of the northeastern band that's whipping at us the uh, waterways the coast guard earlier this morning before the sun was even coming up and it was light we were at condition zulu that means no boats in no boats out the bridge to atlantic beach has been closed to any oncoming traffic short of law enforcement or first responders and we're starting every about 30 minutes to get some of the the squalls the heavier rains and that's adding to the water on the island as well as most of this island has wooden poles holding all of the power lines when i've talked to the chief of police and the fire chief here they say one of their earliest concerns are the power lines because that restricts first responders movement should a line go down over a road they themselves then have to worry about self-preservation as they assist some of the people that stay behind and you know when you talk about structural damage and you can see the water coming up now the search it's actually come up as far as my cameraman dan and come up on the little ledge we're staying on we will egress immediately as these conditions begin to get more uh, significant. We had high tide about an hour ago here, so we don't expect it necessarily to come much more. But as the storm comes in, this surge is going to come all past us. And within the next 12 hours, where I am standing will be underwater. The question is, will that pier still be standing, Sandra? I mean, Griff, we're all looking at this shot with you right now. And if we're just at the beginning here, that's going to get a whole lot worse. Griff, can you see anyone from your position right now? Is there anyone out there? You know, I'm just taking a look. We saw a few people earlier that had come down that obviously decided to stay behind on Atlantic Beach. Uh, they wanted to see it. They got scared. We had a pretty heavy storm about an hour ago, and that drove everyone out. But really, the beach, just to give a little bit of context, about 150 yards yesterday, you could walk halfway down this pier, and people were out here getting a last day of sun. And now it's all the way up to the dunes. They had storms uh, 20 years ago, and they did a lot of sand reclamation to try and build these dunes up but there's no doubt that these houses and these front porches are going to take a hit well before the full impact of this storm hits here and you know here you can see now sandra look at the surge coming up this is the kind of stuff that we're talking about coming up the debris in the water and this isn't even the barely beginning of florence's yeah. surge coming that nine to 13 feet